Good morning everybody and welcome back to another video. Welcome to the channel again, Dad. Thank you. So, Preston North End at home today. Nice local Lancashire derby. Have you got any thoughts for today's game? Should be a tough game. I think two evenly matched sides. Yep. I can't see why we can't win this game, but um, who knows. So, are you going to go for a quick score prediction? Two on Rovers. Two on Rovers, brilliant. Right, yeah, so that is what we are going for today. My dad's going to go for a 2 1 win. I'm going to go for a 3 1 Blackburn win. I think we can really, really go on and get three points today and show Preston who we really are and uh, show our local rivals how football is played down at Ewell Park. So I do want to apologise for no videos recently. I have been poorly. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but I am back with the vlogs. So I shall see you guys down at Ewell Park. Of course, if you do enjoy it, and please smash that like button. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe and the usual stuff. And I'll see you guys down at Ewood in a bit. Bye. <laughs>
possibly end the night, but in that position at the end of the air, it ends the end of the air, it's hot, but where you know, that free ball dropped to, but anyway, that's by the by. And after that, we've got the second round, not many chances, but just a press move up quite sharp up front, but uh, well, that's definitely yeah, we played all right, and uh, no major chances, but we did have no major worries, I think we pretty much controlled it up until half time. Well, I'm just saying, no, he can be positive, there's no reason why we can't get a result against this lot. What's why you're going to say your score, please, in the second half? Yeah, I think we're going to win. Yeah. We're going to do something against those. Yeah. You know, as I say, it's going to be much better on a mech with these clips, guys. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, there's no reason why we can't win this. I mean, I know we lost Corey Evans to an injury. Fingers crossed, I was serious as it looked. Good news to have him coming back. Yeah. But I've got to say, Ryan Nyambi, what a player. He's really come out of the show this season. Superb. I mean, there was a few chants from the fans about Mowbray putting him on the wide instead of being um, up top. But apart from that, I think we're doing really, really well this first half. Nyambi plays quite well, actually. Yeah. yeah. He's got a bit more confidence in his play. He's pushing forward a bit more. We know he's not that good for him, but he's doing okay. I mean, score prediction wise, I think I'm going to say 3 1. I think it's going to be a good game, second half. There's certainly chances in it, there's no doubt about that. And I think, as I say, there's no reason why we can't win this one. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the second half. We're now on the way home. Oh, what a frustrating afternoon. Very, very frustrating. We were really positive about the first half. Thought we could go on and won the game. But, of course, we got a draw. 1-1 one, one against Preston. You think, brilliant. Great point for both. Um, of course, the game was overshadowed by the injury to Corey Evans and Nyambi as well. Mowbray spoke to Radio Lancashire and Corey Evans has got a broken cheekbone and a broken nose um so in my eyes that should have been a yellow card or at least a yellow card but nothing given um but apart from that a very very 50 50 game preston nothing special how they're higher up than us i do not know two very very average sides that second half dad have you got anything to say about the game <sighs> we we're on top briefly in the first half after we mm. scored the goal the injury to Evans for six or seven minutes, put it right back, knocked us out of our rhythm. They scored, ironically, probably where Evans would have been on the pitch, in that centre midfield role on the edge of the area. But anyway, that's another story. Uh, after that, I think we probably shaded the first half. Mm. And I thought second half, if we push on, we can, we'll win this, we can win this. Yeah. They didn't look any great shakes. We weren't playing brilliantly, but you know we looked so we could do enough to win the game. Mm. And the second half, it was just became a real turgid affair. No mm. one could control the ball particularly well. Mm. Preston used gamesmanship and tactics, and they pushed the boundaries of the laws of the game. One or two names that I'm not going to mention who are just horrible individuals. But that's something Rovers haven't got. Well, exactly right. And if the boot was on the other fit, foot, so you might be enjoying it yourself. But yeah. anyway, that's another day. But uh, we had the better chances. Well, Preston will be happy for a draw. They certainly didn't deserve any more than that. Yeah. We, we edged it, shaded it. On another day, we could have won that. But having said that, we didn't really create a, a good, mm. clear-cut chance in the second half to win the game. Pity really, because we could have nicked it, but... Settle for a point. Yeah, settle for a point. Yeah, I mean, on that note as well, the referee, how the hell they get jobs, I do not know. What game he was watching, what game he was at, was absolutely diabolical. And I think that as well spoiled the game. Well, that's the frustrating thing about it. You can see to an extent what's going on. Mm. And... When Pearson's throwing himself over, pretending to be hurt by Gallagher, the referee doesn't even talk to Gallagher. Talks to our man, though. No, he didn't talk to Gallagher at all. He didn't punish him at all. So what's he gone down for? And he didn't talk to Pearson. 
The guy should have been booked for simulation, whatever it was. Yeah. Cheating. Yeah. Anyway, like I say, horrible individual, horrible yeah. team. But a point on the board. That's about it, yeah. So, yeah, so that is it for today's match day video. Of course, if you did like it, then please smash that like button. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and watch out for the Rovers Ladies vlog, which is coming tomorrow. Hopefully, weather permitting, because the weather here in Lancashire is very miserable today. So, without further ado, I shall see you tomorrow. So, bye, guys. Tony, are you thinking that you should have got all three there after that? Well, I think on the balance of play, it wouldn't have been an injustice if we got all three. I think um, it was a typical derby game, right from the first whistle to the last. Nobody gave an inch, I don't think. A lot of just turn them round, play forward, a lot of one-touch forward passing, you know, looking for errors, mistake, almost territorial at times. Uh, of can we play in their half? Can we play in their half? Um, I think on the balance, we had the better chances. I think we threatened their goal more. I think they scored a wonder goal. Um, and yet it was a nutritional game, I would say, as you might expect a local derby match. I think we were helped, obviously, with Evans going off so so early, Nyambi coming off so early in the second half. But um, on the back of Dak, obviously not being available for us, it's it's um, the positive for me is that we went toe to toe. I, I I say I like Preston. I think I respect Preston's nature of the way they play. I think they're very similar to us. They've got a camaraderie and a collective spirit amongst their team which makes them difficult to play against and, and for us I'm not sure how many games that's unbeaten at home now I, I can only think the opening day and then Luton I think apart from that I'm not sure you know teams are finding it really hard to play against us I think ultimately we would have in the balance of it deserved to win the day but it wasn't to be um, put the point in the bag move on to the next one and keep going the first half you looked like you were on top you got that Great early goal and a good finish from, from Adam Armstrong. And then the second half became a bit attritional, didn't it? A little bit of a battle. Yeah, well, from the first minute it was a bit of a battle, to be honest. But um, as I say, I think, in total respect, is not for me to tell you how Preston play, but that, that's what they are. As I said to you, they, they've got a collective spirit, as we've got a collective spirit. And sometimes when two teams who who might not have the best players in the league might not be able to control football matches with the ball for 90 minutes, you know you're in a football match when you play against either Blackburn Rovers or Preston North End. And I think today we both went toe to toe and it was a tight game. I, I felt ultimately on the balance, on shots, on targets, on efforts, on territory around their box. I think we probably would have, if somebody was going to win it, it would have been us. But um, ultimately we we uh, didn't get over the line. In terms of chances created though, you're pretty pleased with that. The second half, you're two or three towards the end there, that you might have just have nicked it. Yeah, I think we hit the post and we had a Armstrong bent one of them. We lost a goal at Forest recently like that, you know, coming in inside and bending it in the box. Everybody misses it. It's inside the post. And I think it was a Gallagher at the back stick, couldn't force it home. Um, Tossing had a chance at the back stick that the keeper clawed out of the top corner. Remember Holtby early on having a great strike that the keeper saved. You know, we had a lot of efforts at goal together. I don't know how many it was, but it was, it was probably warranted more than one goal. And... Um, but credit to them, as I say, it was a it was a derby game played in weather of fitting of a derby match in the northwest of England, and um, we share the spoils and we move on. Corey Evans, can you just bring us up to speed as to what you might know about his condition now? Well, he's gone to hospital. The doctor said in his his first impression was a broken nose and possibly cheekbone. He had oxygen mask on as he came past the dugout. He looked in you know in, in, a, in a not too comfortable way, but. Um, you know, he'll be fine, I'm sure. I was a centre half and I broke my nose a few times, had a few kicks in the face. It's um, it's sore to start with, but I'm sure he'll be fine. He's a warrior. He's you know, he's a loss to us in national football. Right, Corey Evans is a very, very talented young guy. The, the way we play, plays on the front foot, anticipates, gets our team looking forward on transition, and um, he was a loss so early in the game for us. Um, Nyambi was a loss because Nyambi for staff, I thought was a massive threat to them down the right side, and. Um, yeah, and as I say, I'll buy that to Dak. It's you know, it's not easy for us, but they're still fighting and showing that they are giving everything for the club.